Hello everyone, this is James from Pierce Lions and welcome to the latest episode of Whiskey Shorts. In this episode, I'm going to cover distillation. So, last week we covered the wash, the beer, and the beer when it's fully fermented gets up to just over 7% alcohol volume, which we're very, very happy with. Now we need to get the alcohol out of the beer, so we need to distill it. Well, what's distilling? Essentially, it's condensing and concentrating. So, we learned a long time ago that alcohol boils at a lower temperature than water. So if we have a way of heating up the beer to a point where it's the alcohol that's bubbling and boiling off, but the water mostly isn't, and we can capture that, then we can get the spirit out of the beer. And to do this, we need equipment. So we've got beautiful distilling equipment that is the centerpiece of our distillery right on the altar. Uh, two stills made by a company called Vendome, based out of Kentucky. Um, so we have a wash still named Mighty Molly and a spirit still named Little Lizzie. So we're going to start with the wash still. We're going to fill up the wash still with 2,000 litres of wash and we're going to heat it up to 90 degrees centigrade and the alcohol is going to start bubbling and boiling and evaporating up the lovely long swan's neck. It's then going to cool and condense and we're going to capture it and that's the first iteration of spirit commonly known in the industry as the low wines. About 20% alcohol volume with everything else in there. So... The second distillation needs to take place. We're going to distill the low wines. So how do we do that? Well, uh, we're just going to put the low wines in there and we're going to have to play a bit more of a safer game because we're dealing with different types of alcohol in, in their concentrated forms. And the first thing that burns off in any second or, or third distillation in concentrate is methanol and we don't want it. So it's a technique called cutting the heads. So it takes about 20 minutes for our methanol to fully pass. Once we've done that, it's the ethanol coming through or the heart and we're going to keep that. And then after that, you've got something called your higher alcohols or uh, fusel oils. They can give the spirit a bit of body and texture, but we don't want too much of that. It'd be quite musty and waxy. So we're going to cut the tails, cut the heads, cut the tails, keep the heart. Now, our spirit still is the only one of its kind in the country. Uh, it is a hybrid still or known as a Holston still technically. And to look at uh, our spirit still, it looks like a pot still, but in the neck you've got four rectification plates uh, and these four circular windows. And what they're going to do is they're going to cause more reflux because the more reflux we have, the more of a top note refined spirit we can get and it's going to cause more contact with copper. Now, the reason why copper is important is because copper will take away the number one undesirable flavor, which would be sulfur. Now, we don't have a very sulfury beer or wash, um, so it's never been too much of a problem. But if there was any sulfur to arise, copper takes it away straight away. We capture our spirit at just over 70% alcohol volume. We will not fill the barrels at that percentage. Uh, time, studies and, and history have shown that the optimum percentage to fill a barrel of malt or pot still, and we're making pot still spirit, uh, is 63.5%. So before that spirit goes anywhere near a barrel, we're going to cut it with water. Now, we're not using water from the tap. We have a reverse osmosis plant in the distillery that's going to strip the water of any minerals. We'll cut it to 63.5% and then we'll send that spirit for casking. We use two different sites in the country for our maturation. And then we say goodbye for a minimum of three years. But that's distillation in a nutshell and how we do it in Pierce Lines. Leave your questions and comments uh, in the comments section or send us a direct message. If you want anything in finer detail, uh, you can hear from me, Connor Ryan, Michael Carr or our distillers at any time. Thanks for tuning in, folks, and all the best.